Good morning guys, so I've got another vlog, oh my god I need to charge my battery, that's not good. I'm just waiting for my mum and Sprout to come, they're coming down to me for today and then, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but I just thought I'd show you my little outfit of the day. I've got the fan on because it's so hot, it's going to be like 33 degrees today and tomorrow, we've had hot weather for like the last two days as well. So that's what I'm wearing today, I don't really have any matching bags so I'm just going to have to be, I feel like my bag's going to ruin it actually. I don't have another bag um so yeah i'm just waiting for them to come they've got a chest of drawers that they're bringing to me that was in my bedroom and i thought instead of throwing it like we'll use it and put it in the garage so we can store stuff away in it so she's got that and then we're just gonna go off shopping i'm not too sure where we're going yet we kind of planned to go to like a retail park but i was thinking maybe we should go to the little shopping center and then to the retail parks across the road so We'll see, but yeah, Sprout will be in the vlog because I know you guys love her, so that's the current plan. So I will vlog when they are here. In the, the middle. Sprout has arrived. My cute ah. little bag. You didn't get my cute little bag in it. Where was that from? Mum doesn't my want to be loaded. My name is Bernard and I don't consent to being ah. put on YouTube. My name is Bernard. <laughs> I don't consent to be put on this YouTube video and I will be taking legal, legal action. Okay, <laughs> you do that. Right, we've made it to the shopping centre. So we're gonna go shopping. I'll take you guys with me in some shops, but it might be quite busy. Because I convinced my mum to drive, she didn't really wanna drive. I didn't wanna drive because I have a lot to catch up on, guys. I actually reversed into my neighbor's concrete post. I've been driving for seven years and I never had any accidents until this year. And I, it's because I was really pissed off. And I wasn't in- If you done it, it would have been me, but you did it. Yeah, so- It's a sprout move, totally. So I've got to get that repaired. It's really not that bad, but I know it's there and I want my car to be pristine. So I'm gonna have to That's do a local right, spray. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was pissed off and I just reversed. I was too busy looking in my other mirror to make sure I went hit his car and bosh, straight into it. Does the vlog like my little bag? You keep going on about your stupid Leave my bum alone. <laughs> um, I had something else to say, but yeah, I can't remember what else I've got to catch you up on because I haven't vlogged in a while. Oh, my new she driving license seen, came because if you watched- You have in a while either. That's important. Yeah, so my driving license came because in my last vlog, you'll see, I would, would have taken my picture. I didn't have to pay for it, they just updated it, so that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to treat them all to lunch today because I convinced my mum to drive. and I've got some dosh that I can spare. And when she says that, it means Sprout will actually pay for it. Then. No, I will treat them. I'm We're going get Nando's. some blue sticks. Look at Sprout. Well, some I fleek. Is it? I think so, I can just see a gap. Walked into H&M, Sprout's already buying stuff. I just found this bag for her, it's £9 in the sale. Is this the scarf for the sale or not? Oh. Oh. I look fabulous. Look, she's literally got like a whole outfit there. Now you need to find trousers to go with it. the medium would be big enough? You're gonna get it? Good Sprout. Right, Nando's was closed. Well, it wasn't closed. It wasn't open till 12. And then we saw Wimpy and we didn't know how to Wimpy. So now we're in Wimpy and I've got my little fan because it's boiling. Like I'm actually sweating. So I've treated everyone to Wimpy. That was a good £30 out of my bank. Love that. <laughs> I would vlog my mum, but trying to be on camera today. Woohoo! So lunch. I just had a hair on my chips, so I had to send it back. This is the first and the last time I'm coming here because um, we don't rate this one. <laughs> We're in one of my most favourite shops ever. Do you remember that time I hit you with it? <laughs> what are you getting? To show the vlog. I might get some other ones. Lost City and Wolverine. I bloody hate this shop with a passion. Right guys, I just bought this for the future mother-in-law for her B-Day. And then I just bought myself a cute Sprout bath mat. It out. And then a hand towel to match. That's all I bought today so far. Oh, and this really cute 60 diffuser for his mum. So, we've done as the living. I got me two TK <laughs> Best shop ever guys. We better have some good Halloween stuff. And I do want a new doormat still. And do one's got outside and one's got inside as well. Yeah, Mum's gonna go to Hobby Craft because she's gonna ruin the vibe in TK Maxx. Because we love you so much. <laughs> we got a whole little section. This is what you look like. <laughs> yeah. They've got all of it like downstairs. And 
lit my candle right? Yeah, you need to. Where's the stairs? Oh, wait, look, they've got some candles here. Toxic. <gasps> oh my god, I'm going to send that oh, to Bernard. Oh my god, can we get it? Let me oh. send it to Bernard, he would love it. What does that say? Feeling, Feeling pumped. pumped. Oh my god, so cute. Can we get this one? This We're is recording. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, this is bad. Hello? Hello. Oh, well, we're not with her, we're in a different shop. Guys, it's candle galore. I have so many. We've got nice green ones. We've got small ones. Oh, look at this one. It depends what your vibe is, isn't it, what you have in your house. I like the ones with the pumpkin on. I know, I saw that one of them down there and I was like, that's We've got trick or treat, basic boo. So cute. So is this. They've got like white ones if you oh like white God. things. Loads. Some more little Halloween bits. Got some cute mugs. Yeah, I saw online because at least they put some of this stuff online. So if you see anything, guys, just check online because they might have it. Uh, they got some cute, like, little full candles. Oh, imagine not having a whole set. If you're not, um, like, Halloween y. So they got quite a few cute ones. Right, this is the current stitch. I've got some yellow tea towels to match my sunflower ones and a doormat. And then I did pick. Whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ. And then I picked up, what did I pick up? Oh, my wicked thing. Right. <laughs> this is what Sprout's getting. I'm loving so much. I'm not too keen on the colour choices, but she really likes it, so she's going to get it. But I do prefer this one, which I'm now buying her for Christmas. How much is this one? 50. 50, and that's 50. <laughs> You're buying a bag? I'm, I'm buying, buying that. Bag. Isn't that good? What's she want that for? Christmas. For Christmas. It'll be my new work bag. So at least she's got a few months to wait. So as you can see, we've now... Why are you buying the booster having that? Me? Yeah. Well, you know, like, instead of a black one, she uses a black one. Look, they have, like, matching suitcases, yeah. all different sizes. Well, did you want me to buy it for you for Christmas? Well, no, because <gasps> I wouldn't be able to take it. Because I'd be scared they'd ruin it. Because it's too nice to But can't you use it instead of your purple one when we, when we go away? Because we go away, like, every year. And, like, you can use it when we go Paris. Or something. We're in home bargains. Put it back. Shut up. You shut up. Anyways, as I was saying, this oh, is my little goodies I'm buying. The Milka, Freddo's, Jazzy, Malam's for Bernard. I love these flapjacks. They're like 29p. So I bought 10. Iron Brew. Mate, and the rest is my mum's. God, are you still shouting your gob off? Oh my, oh my goodness, Mum's no, buying loads of wool. So what do you want to find? I want another what, whatever pack you, you can find. Let go. Look, you're <laughs> a holic. Oh, a wool holic. I'll get down there and have a look. You bloody dare! <laughs> Back off. <laughs> Got a whole storage oh, unit full of wool. <laughs> right, well, back goes the wall then. Yeah, back goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the face of a woman dinner. that succeeds in life. I'll get on the way down there. I'll get down there and look for you. <laughs> 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 right, we're back. Don't Reunited with back. Bernard. I don't know what we're doing now. Look, guys, I'm going to show you my new little kitchen towels. Look, they match perfectly with my sunflower thing, which was the uh, whole point. Guys, I have very, something very exciting. So, my dad called me the other day and was like, you've got a delivery. Mom, no, my mum did. did. Oh, is it that, look at her looking over. She thinks that she's the only one in the house. Go upstairs. No, I was wondering what was going on. B I S T C H. And no, my mum called me and she said I got parcel from like the United States or whatever. Beyond Yoga has sent me some goodies. I'm so excited. So I'm going to try them on not today because it's hot. We've got a nice lilac set. And look at the red. How nice is the red? I did really want the like bright green one. But I'm super happy with these ones. So hopefully they'll fit because I think they've sent me... 
They sent me one X and I'm gonna buy an extra large. Why are you laughing? So I'm hoping they'll fit and they won't be too big because an extra large fits perfect. And then I also got um, a smaller size in my Lulu bodysuit and a sports bra as well. Right, guys, we are chilling. I've just watered the flowers. Mum's doing my garden at the moment, just cutting all of them off because I don't really know how to maintain flowers and we've got a lot of roses out there and things so she's sorting that for me i've got to show you i picked well sprout picked this up it's a halloween diffuser what's the best way to show you you see that it's got boo on it pumpkin spice it was 20 pounds which is quite expensive but it's obviously quite a big bottle and obviously you can reuse it every year so i justified paying that but it is a bit pricey and then i don't know if i showed you in my vlog but there's this little money pig money pig money bank pig is Bernard's parents and um I thought it was quite cute we found it wrapped up and my mum I showed my mum and said oh I didn't show you this like how cute is it or whatever and she said that they're like a whole collection and they actually are so they're from like the 1980s and I assume if you opened up maybe like a bank account with them or whatever they um gave you one but look there's a whole collection so I've got Annabelle and obviously you know maybe I need another one like my mum's got me into this she's like oh you should get another one to like go with it so I'm gonna bid on these and I want the baby and I want the one with the tie to match Annabelle and obviously I'm gonna get another Annabelle one which I think is fine because I can just resell it um, but their starting price is $7.99 which is a bid so it'd be cheaper for me to do that than buy them separately so I could get all three for like maybe like well, it'll be 12 pound postage because that's what I have to update you we've just had dinner Sprout is watching what is this? The European Champions are you snapchatting? <laughs> um, and then after this because she's just being long <laughs> championship um, she's going to help me do my Disney traditions like organise them nicely because Sprout's quite good at doing stuff like that and then they'll head home and I'm going to be left with Bernard I don't know what we'll do Bernard's just been upstairs all day I don't even know what he's doing so yeah I'll catch up with you guys in a sec when she comes up Having Jason Kenny right there Tonight. on his shoulder, helping him right Okay, so Sprout's finished. We got Frozen, done Grinch, and Sleeping Beauty. Then we got my cute little Peter Pan section. This is my new little baby, my pride and joy. Then we got Alice. This is my absolute favourite. It's my new one and my favourite as well. The nice little snow globe. And then we got Cinderella. And that's just uh, miscellaneous stuff. They're leaving. I forgot my vlog camera, so. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to like it, thumbs up. <laughs> and then ring that bell, subscribe, whatever it's called. Nicole, can you message Dad? Oh yeah. Bye. Right, see you we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> Have fun. Have a good evening. Bella Cheerio. Bye. Miss you. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> As you saw, they have left. So I'm going to just try on my Beyond Yoga pieces. I made my Lululemon if I can't be bothered, but my room's got the sun on it, so it's like really hot. And like I said, it's like 34 degrees today. I'm not even gonna lie, I am in love with the red Beyond Yoga set. It is gorgeous. Got it in a 1X, which actually fits very nicely. I could probably get away with an extra large or a 1X. Um, I wouldn't wear this particular form because you can kind of see it through. It does have like removable padding. Um, the only thing I will say is obviously it pushes down my fat a lot more because it's um pushing down the back back but i don't think i've tried this style sports bra from them can't remember if i did no i think i had tanks love it love 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 definitely recommend oh my god i've never tried an all red set before and i just think it looks so nice so i'm gonna try on the purple one now okay so we've got the purple set on now this is a very light color not one that i would usually go for but like i do think it looks really nice i will say it gives me a bit of camel toe at the moment just because like the way i pulled it um it feels quite tight but obviously it fits i think it's just because i'm like hot and sticky as well i definitely could have got away with an extra large for the top obviously you can see it's a little bit big i'm not complaining because i love it does have a built-in sports bra no removable padding but i do like it because it kind of just gives me like that all-in-one jumpsuit look like i said i don't normally go for light colors because it does show the lumps and bumps from the front it's fine obviously wear like proper seamless underwear it does kind of show off my cellulite a bit and lumps and bumps but like i said like i am beyond 
literally beyond yoga beyond grateful that they even sent me stuff like it's not a cheap brand it is like up there with lululemon and i really really do love their active wear well would you call it active wear yeah they do come all in this soft like a velvet material all like the same material they're spaced on material that's kind of what they do they only kind of do like one fabric but yeah like i love the colors they come out with they're so nice but the sports edit don't stock all the colors so shipping it from beyond yoga is quite expensive so you pay the shipping which is quite pricey and then obviously customs um but basically i gave them like my works my parents address many many months ago like when i first posted them on instagram in the jumpsuit and they said i oh, would love to send you pieces can we get your address so i sent it to them and like never heard anything so i was like okay that's fair enough um and then they just showed up randomly so yeah literally in love i love their set so much definitely recommend the red over this one just because of the color um but i do love the style obviously of this top and the bottoms as well but the red is doing it for me <laughs> Right, so basically I bought these leggings a long time ago and I got them in the sale and obviously I like to have a matching set. So randomly the other day they had the matching top online so obviously I had to snap it up because I would prefer a matching set. So yeah, I paid full price for this but I got the leggings in the sale. Good morning guys, so it is, what is the time? 8.44, so me and Bernard are getting ready because we're going to go to Blue Water today. We need to get some bits for Ireland, pretty much while we're going, but we're going early so we can go and have breakfast. I'm going to get pancakes for breakfast. But I thought I'd show you my OOTD. I do need to put my camera on charge. Um, how far can I send that? This dress is from H&M. It's so cute. It's the first time I've worn it. I've had it like a good couple months. So it just has sheer and elastic around the top. Just blue and white. It's nice and stretchy. I've got it in a size large and it fits so yes just waiting for Bernard to get ready and then we're going to leave I'm just going to try and put my camera on charge quickly because I've got low battery but I am charging something else so I need to find another charger for this and I'm charging up my fan as well because it's going to be super hot again today and I'm taking that fan with me because no doubt the shops are not going to know what aircon is I probably won't vlog while shopping because that's just stressful so I'll just show you guys like our breakfast and that and then I'll just vlog like when I'm home, like what I got. We've just made it to Blue Water. Bernard's gonna put his car on charge. Do you know what I really like is electric vehicles have like priority parking literally because the entrance is just like literally there. That's one of the handy things. But with me, like I will park in an end spot like far away just so no one parks next to me. But then I always get the biggest car parking next to me. So I've made a list of things I need to get so I don't forget. I need to get hair straighteners, slippers, and primer. I want to see if they've got the Primark sets. I need to get some big t-shirts for the gym. And I need to get a pump for my foundation bottle. So yeah, I've got some extra little bits that I need to get today that I definitely wouldn't have got yesterday. That's Bernard's breakfast. I've got my fruit on the side. You guys, look how good the pancakes are. You're jealous. I'm regretting it big time, boy. <laughs> Finished up in blue water. How was your experience, Hanzo? Chaotic. <laughs> Yeah, he bought nothing, so it was a very unsuccessful trip for him. And we found a few things that we'll look for online. I got a new little perfume from Victoria's Secret. It smells so good. I sprayed it myself a long time ago, and I've been wanting it ever since, but I finally bit the bullet and got it. And then I got myself these straighteners, and then just a few other little essentials, so nothing Essential. exciting for me. But I got what I needed, so at least someone got something. It's not a wasted trip. But the shops, yeah, they're just a bit naff at the moment, and it's just chaotic in there and hot. They don't have anything for the big boys. Yeah. Basically, everyone takes his size. So now we're going to drive back. Um, Bernard needs to take me to a supermarket or something so I can get lunch and dinner. And then we'll get home, and I need to do an online food shop. We'll do some online shopping. Right, it's been... What is going on here? Right, what in the world, guys? What is that? Oh, I don't know. Um, right, so a good few hours later, it is actually 20 past three. So we came in, I started watching that day shift on Netflix and it was crap. We had our lunch, had a few little snacks and just chilled, did a bit of online shopping. And yeah, that's literally all I've done for like the last three hours. So I'm just doing some overtime now, get some extra dosh. Because your girl needs the money. And Bernard's upstairs playing Apex. Put my camera on charge because the battery's low. So I'm probably going to do like two hours overtime. 
and then I'll show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner. All I had was like a crusty roll for lunch, which is quite enough, like I feel quite full. Ooh, okay, so I just finished my overtime. So I did a two, I did two and a half hours, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna cook me and Bernard dinner now. I've got this one, which I didn't realize it was stuffed crust, because I'm actually quite picky with pizza. I only eat plain pizza basically, but yeah, good. I'm trying something different, so we'll go with it. And then I got Bernard this one. And then I think we'll just have some dough balls with it. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna have. I've decided to put on Cosmic Love on Amazon, a little trash TV show. My pizza is so cheesy. I actually don't like cheesy pizza. I prefer it to be a bit more tomatoey, but we'll give it a go. I actually picked it up for the crust. And then I realised obviously it was stuffed crust. I have made us Oreo milkshakes because I needed to use up some of the milk that we have. Yeah, I've still basically done nothing. I just realised I need to shower as well. So I think I'm going to have a milkshake, put the dishwasher on. Then I'll have a shower and I'm still just going to chill. Like I've done nothing all day. Normally I spend today like doing chores, but I did them all on Friday. Because obviously my mum and that were coming around. That's my current plan. Nothing exciting, very chill, boring Sunday. Good morning guys, so it is a couple days from Sunday because I was only going to vlog Saturday and Sunday and then I was going to end out the vlog on the Monday but um, as you can see like probably from like the title I had to go hospital so yeah I kind of want to speak to you about something that happened to me just because there will be other people that can relate or just to sort of bring awareness and just talk about it really because I am just your average normal person like I go through things that other people go through. I'm not superhuman. But yeah, like I am just a happy-go-lucky person. I try to be positive. I try to make people laugh. I like to wind up and annoy people. I mean, you've seen it from like my videos with Sprout and that. And yeah, I just don't like to be negative. I mean, obviously we all have days where we are negative to ourselves or, you know, even if we are to like other people around us or we're moody, that is just life. That is just how everyone is. I try not to be like that because I try not to be... I don't want negative vibes. I don't want to be... I just don't want to have negative negative energy around me. So yeah, I was basically sleeping. I had, I woke up a few times throughout the night. It was about half four this time when I woke up and I felt like a twinge, like in my bicep. I got up, I felt a bit weird, but I went to the toilet and then I got up from the toilet and I don't know, my chest just sort of went weird. My heart was like racing. I got back into bed and I thought, something doesn't feel right. Like this is not normal and I am never ill. So I sat up in bed, I was like, like calming myself down my boyfriend woke up and then i just was shaking uncontrollably like i was tremoring so badly i have never experienced anything like this in my life and i'm not being dramatic when i say i genuinely thought i was dying like it was that bad the symptoms were so scary i felt twinges in my calves i'm like that's it i'm gonna die of a blood clot like it's moving fast in my body i'm gonna die um and then i thought i'm having a stroke and then i thought maybe it's a heart attack like those were the three things that i thought it was and i thought this is my last moments like i am literally gonna die in bed it's like something seriously wrong like call an ambulance so we called an ambulance they said they'll send one and then they called back and they said they were really busy if we can go to the hospital and go to a and e that would be good i said well you could have told us this like 20 minutes ago instead of me sitting here like thinking i'm dying and that by the time they get here i'm gonna be dead so yeah we quickly rushed to the a and e had to wait a while to be seen. In total, I was there for six hours. Um, I got seen, I think, after about an hour where, like, I had my initial consulta consultation thing. Um, she wanted to take blood. And, yeah, I was still, like, shaking on and off. I felt like at times I was going to pass out. And then, like, I didn't know if it was my asthma, like, playing with my chest. And then I, I didn't know if it was because I was hungry and then, like, my stomach's rumbling. It just makes you feel worse. She did, like, a blood test in my arm. I'm going to slightly get bruised. I don't even know if my hand's bruised yet because the hand one was the worst. I don't know, I haven't bruised. Staff were amazing, like incredibly amazing. They were so lovely. I can't fault that. I can't fault my experience. It was a really good experience. So we did that and then she took us to another waiting area. I think it was a like waiting area three. So we went from like the first one to the second to the third. And then I saw a doctor. No, and then I saw the nurse and he kind of went over things again with me. He wanted to take more blood and I was like, oh, really? So he did it in my hand this time and I didn't pass out, thank God. <laughs> said my other bloods were fine, but he said something like my lactose was like borderline and they want to see if it in has increased or decreased since my last one. So during that time, we were waiting ages. I then had an ECG. I think he said that was fine. Um, and then they sent me for a CT scan on my head. That was really quick and easy. Didn't have to wait too long for that. It was just more waiting for the results after that. Um, I basically got the all clear. Blood were really good. My head was really good, um, or brain, I should say. So yeah, everything was fine. And throughout the experience, they kept asking me if I suffer with anxiety. And I 
do, but I don't. Like I, like everyone, like you have anxious days or situations that make you anxious. I feel like I do let things bottle up inside and I let it build to a point and then I'll just have a breakdown. I think that's just how I deal with things. Like we all deal with, deal with things in our own way. So he basically just said I had an anxiety attack and I really didn't believe it. And I felt like I was wrongly misdiagnosed just because I get worried about these type of things. And you see a lot on social media where they say that they palm people off and they've actually had like a blood clot or they've died the next day, or a sepsis, like things like that. I am like the worst for that. I and when he said I was going for a head scan, I thought that's it. I've got a tumor. I've got cancer. Like it is horrible. And I said to him, I'm gonna feel like so embarrassed if that was the reason. Like I've just wasted everyone's time. But he said like not at all because they are actually as serious as a heart attack and the symptoms are super scary. And obviously some of the symptoms mimic heart attacks. And I think it was a heart attack. I'm not sure if it was a stroke as well, but. Yeah, and my mum and dad, especially my dad, because he suffered with it over the years, said at the start, you've had an anxiety attack. My boyfriend's mum said it must have been an anxiety attack. So everyone knew, but I just didn't feel like it was that because honestly, like, I try to be so happy. I try not to let things get to me. That was just something I never want to experience in my life again. Like, when I say it's probably one of the worst things I've ever been through, like, I, yeah, I can't explain it. I think if any of you have been through it, you'll know. Obviously, my family are miles apart as well, so I, I panicked them. I called them at like five in the morning, started crying on the phone to my sister. I probably panicked the life out of her because she is a worrier. Um, my mum and dad didn't even hear the phone go in, so I'm so glad Sprout did, and she wasn't even going to get it. And I said, listen, if anyone's calling at early hours in the morning, because we've had this before, where we've had bad news at, at early hours in the morning, like, you know it's not good news, and it could have been something... She answered it because she thought it might be related to my granddad. Anxiety doesn't just affect you, it's gonna affect everyone around you. Like last night when, I had medication as well, I forgot to say that, so that calmed me down. They did prescribe me medication, but I don't wanna take it because it is addictive and I don't wanna rely on medication. I wanna look at ways of manage, managing anxiety naturally. Yeah, naturally. So I've been trying controlling my breathing a lot. I felt weird for the rest of the day and obviously I didn't know that you're still like in flight or fight mode, your body's still in like that survival mode everything just felt weird like my chest was tight i've got to say like all my arms and legs were really heavy and felt numb but they weren't while i was tremoring when it first happened so that's why i thought i was dying because i thought it was a stroke i don't know why i'm laughing it's not funny but so yeah i kind of just wanted to share my experience because i just want you guys to know that you're not alone like someone like me i never thought i would actually go through anything like that and yeah, it can happen to anyone. It can happen at any time. Obviously, it happens at a time where I felt good in myself. I didn't feel down. I was... And a lot of people have told me that it actually happens when you least expect it and when you feel okay. Whereas I feel like I have been through a lot in my personal life. And yeah, maybe that was the cause of it. It's all subconscious. I don't know. But I want to look at ways of just yeah managing it. So I'm going to look at like counselling and things like that. I don't think anyone should be ashamed to do that or say that or go because that is what they're there for, that is their job. And if it's a way of helping you and talking to someone that's non-biased and they know nothing about you and your family and friends, then like do it. I don't feel anxious, which is the weird thing, but I do keep having flashbacks to when it first happened. I was really scared to go to sleep as well because I thought I'm gonna die in my sleep. Like that is how bad anxiety can be. And I just don't wanna ever feel like that again. I know I've rambled on a bit, but honestly, if this can just help someone or just know that you're not alone, you're not. I actually have a lot of supportive friends and family. So like, I'm literally so grateful for them. Grateful for my boyfriend for obviously having to take the day off work and staying there for six hours with me. Yeah, I hope you guys are all well anyway. If you ever wanna go in my DMs and message me, then message me, I'm really open, I'm friendly. Even though if I don't come across it, it's if you see me in person, but I am really friendly, so yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I didn't end it too negatively. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and my fashion channel and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank <music> you.